Hi guys and welcome back to Jojo's Corners, La Esquina de Jojo. If you're new to my channel, hello, how are you? If you're not new to my channel, welcome back. Today, what do you think about this makeup look? Would you believe me if I told you that I used two makeup palettes to do this look? Would you believe that? Well, I might have used the Morphe L25 and or I might have used the Take Me Back to Brazil palette. Would you believe me if I told you I used two? If you want to see how I created this makeup look, whether I use one palette or two, keep watching. Okay, so let's talk about the palette. This one is the Morphe 25L. It retails for $20. I have the palette and I also got the brush set. The palette retails for $20 and the brush set retails for $28. Let me show you the palette. It does come with a big mirror and this is what the palette looks like. A lot of bright colors. You got your mattes, you got your shimmers. Again, the palette, this palette retails for $20. Now, let's talk about the brushes. Here, there's this brush set, it's beautiful. It comes with seven brushes, this is how it looks like. Beautiful, they come out, of course, so you can pull them out. I still have a new set, as you can see. Now, let's talk about the Take Me to Brazil palette. So this is the Take Me to Brazil palette. This, um, oh, the thing just came off. It has a big mirror. Oh, I said a normal mirror. And all the colors here are matte make some have a small slight shimmer to it but mostly they all matte compared to the morphe one just like the morphe um, palette this also retails for twenty dollars mind you this been out for quite some time i also got the brushes this brush set actually had 10 brushes i have not even opened it yet and it comes something in its packaging kind of resembles a lot to the um, Take Me to Brazil palette. The brushes retail for $26. The package for $20, the palette for $20, the brushes for $26. But this one brings actually 10 brushes. It has powder brush, angle brush, um, temper, contour brush, round brush. Um, it has fade brushes as well as eye brushes. This one only have eye brushes and it has seven of them. So that's it. This is ten, uh, $26. This one is $28. Um, now, I did get these two together in a bundle for $23. I was looking at the palettes and like they're kind of similar. So I wanted to do a makeup look using one side BH Cosmetic and the other side Morphe. Now, I do not have a Morphe foundation, so I will be using the BH foundation for the first time, as well as the BH um, Cosmetics Concealer for the first time. Um, so, yeah, I actually got a couple of things from BH Cosmetic. Morphe, I do own a lot of things, but I don't know, I just... There are so many shades in the foundation that I didn't want it to get it online and I haven't been able to go to Ulta, therefore I'm not going to get into these about the Morphe foundation. But what I'm going to do is one size is going to be BH Cosmetics, we don't know which size yet, and I'm going to be using their brushes for each, each side. Um, the makeup look that I want to do, let me get out for a little bit, I want to do something inspired in, on this shirt. It's got bright colors, it has dark colors, it got red, it has blue, it has black, it has white. It has bright yellow, bright orange. So yeah, that is um, how I want the makeup look to be inspired. With so, with that being said, oh, please people bear with me. Remember, I am not a makeup artist, but somehow I make things work. I did not want to go on Instagram and um, try to copy somebody else's look. I wanted to do my own thing. That's what I said. I want to do a look inspired on my shirt because they got a whole bunch of colors. So yeah. Are you ready for this? Are you ready for this? I'm looking at the palettes right now and they have similar shades. I don't know if you guys can see. They have similar shades, but some of them are just not the same. So I don't know how I'm going to make this work. Do you know? Because I don't know. I'm going to prep my eyes using the Makeup Revolution Concealer 
versus using the BH Cosmetic Concealer just because this one is a little bit more to my skin color. This one is a little lighter and I like how it works for my um, makeup look. And I'm just gonna apply just three dots on my eyelids that way uh, I will let the blender begin. And to blend, I'm going to use my Morphe M7173, which is a concealer brush, and let's get to blend. I'm extending the concealer all the way out. And here we go. So blend out. Now, let's redo really this. Okay, so as I'm looking at the shades, I just realized that this palette doesn't have a matte blue. But I guess we're gonna take um, this shade right here, which is called Rise Up. It's just this color blue right here. And, and that's what we're gonna work with. I don't know what, do you know what? We're gonna work with it. And I'm going to use the Morphe M. 513 which is this one right here this is the right one and I'm gonna go right into the shade that says rise up which is that blue and I'm just gonna put it all over my lips I'm just gonna tap first because I don't know this shade's gonna work and I'm gonna make sure I drag that all the way out pigment is there I just had deep I just had deep the brush twice and you can see it's pigmented I just wish there were a little bit more matte shades in it I don't really like this brush for blending I think <sighs> this is not my great brush okay so I got a mirror here in the back and I got a mirror in the front. In the mirror in the front, everything looks pretty much blend out. Blend blend. And when I looked in the mirror in the back, it's like I'm seeing like a patch right here that I don't know where it's coming from. I'm gonna grab this um Morphe M44433 and I'm just gonna I don't know if you can see there's a patch right over here. I can't see it. I see it here a little more. But in the back, like I can see there is a patch right there. We're going to leave that alone. Now let's move this to the side and let's get the BH number seven. That is a blending brush. We're gonna go to this shade right here, which is a lot similar to the shade Rise Up. And I'm just gonna take a little dab, remove the excess, and I'm gonna tap it in first. This one has a little shimmer to it. This one is more matte, obviously. I'm having some issues right here. I already see. But we're gonna continue to build that up. Okay, so this is how we're looking so far. Not my favorite, but I feel like this side was so much easier to blend versus this side, but here we go. Now, to give a little bit of thickness to the eye, I want to go with this um, purple. I know my shirt don't got purple, but I will. It, this purple right here is called Truth, which I do have a purple kind of like that in this palette, just that it's more like purple, purple. But we're gonna work for it. Unfortunately, these brushes are not for blending, so I'm just gonna grab one of my Morphe brushes and we're gonna go from there. All right, so here I have the M433. I promise you, it's clean. It just the purple stain. It just it's purple, okay. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to go to the shade Truth, and I'm gonna place very close to my eyelid, pretty much on the crease. And I'm just gonna do some tapping motion. And then blend. It's tap and blend, tap and blend. 
you can see the purple you can see the blue I just wish I just kind of wish the purple wasn't as dark and there you have it now what I like to do is something that me personally like to do is just go back I haven't add no more shadow with the same brush that I was using for the blue and just kind of like just go over it in between the purple and the blue that way I can smooth everything and you can see the purple you can see the blue but everything is just nice and smooth now I'm going to use this um, is number eight it's a small blending brush and I'm going to go into this purple that they have right here obviously it's not as dark as the other purple so wish me luck you can see it you can see it there clearly I can see it I feel like this side is so much easier to blend Now I'm going to go back with the same old, same old, same old brush that I had before and I'm just going to make sure that everything is nice and smooth. I can clearly see it. More on this side than in this one. What do you guys think so far? So now to cut my crease, I'm going to use this ColourPop White Concealer. I have used this nothing but a couple of times. So wish me luck and bear with me and I'm going to be using this um, Colourpop E11 which is a flat brush I'm going to do my outer eye off camera because I'm just gonna cut my crease I mean I don't need to drag this video any more longer so yeah I'm gonna do that off camera and I'll be back so Wish me luck that the other one looked the same. Okay, so I cut my crease all the way through. What do you guys think? <laughs> okay, so let's start with the orange. The orange that we're gonna start is over here, this shade called Pride. It's like a bright orange, well, not so bright. And I'm going to be using the M326, which is a small brush that way I can get right in the crease. All right where the concealer is at I'm going to just tap the axis and I'm just gonna tap it in there and here you got the orange now I'm going to take I wish we had another flat brush guys I really wish that because it's yellow I am going to look for a flat brush for a Morphe flat brush because obviously this is not it's just not gonna work okay to use the yellow I'm going to use this Morphe M152 which is like it's a flat brush it's just very small and I'm going to go with the shade right here cause sunlight and I'm going to go right at it next to that shade Pride. And I'm just going to go back with whatever I have left in this brush. And I just want to make sure everything is just, the edges are blend. And here it goes. Now I'm going to go with this Morphe, which is a purple one. M167, which is, has a flat. Is flat that is easy for me to do the top the edges of the wing and I'm going to go to the shade right here that is called nature which is the green let me just wet it a little bit because again it just not working how I would like it work now I am going to get that the yellow brush that I had and I just want to make sure the yellow and the green is all blend and this is how it looks so far now we're gonna do the other side okay so BH Cosmetics doesn't have a small brush so I will be using this Pixie um, 246 this is a precision um, 
crease brush and I'm going to start with this bright orange that they have over here we're gonna place it the same way that we place the orange in the morning more similar this slice a little lighter now what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean my brush because I just don't have any more brushes these are like all the type of brushes I mean I do have more brushes but I just don't feel like I should be using a Morphe brush then for the yellow we have I'm gonna use with this I'm gonna use this bright yellow right here and this right next to the orange that we just used This yellow is not as bright as it looks on the pan compared to the yellow in the Morphe palette. So that's a bit disappointing. Okay, let me add a small amount of setting spray just like I did with the Morphe side. Maybe that will help a little. Okay, so for the green, I'm going to use this E ColourPop E3, which is again has this flat surface that way and let me see which one gets a little closer to each other I'm going to go with this green right here versus this green because I think this green is a little more darker so let's try the lighter green now the green is definitely more pigmented than the Morphe side didn't have to put any um, setting spray on my brush and you can definitely see it is there definitely this side versus this side okay well that's we get in there now what I want to do is take a small brush and just kind of like go over it with both of the dark colors with both of the purples that I use just to give a little bit more you know like depth to it and I think for that I'm going to use this brush it's, this is the M507 and I'm just gonna go right into the purple over here with a little bit and I'm just gonna go guys I have a mess over over here just to give a little bit more of I guess depth to it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to blend that. You see the same old brush that I used to blend the blue. Nothing extra, just making sure the harsh line from the top just disappeared. Looks pretty cool. Now I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. And for that, I'm going to use this BS Cosmetic 9. It's kind of the same, just a little more fluffier. And I'm going to go right into the purple, which is this purple right here, right on the tip of the brush. And I'm just going to go right over. Right over. That's it. Now I'm going to take the same BH number seven and I'm just going to make sure no more product in it. Just gotta make sure everything just disappear. And that's it, that's it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna apply uh, my eyeliner, you know, same old, same old, my falsies off camera and then I'll be back so we can finish the rest of the face. Eyeliner is on, lashes are on. Let me tell you about the lashes that I'm using. These are the Pixie lashes I actually got. Um, they were sent out to me. Um, These that I'm wearing are actually the Chanel. And I always have a hard time wearing lashes. Like, it gives me the hardest time for me to put in those lashes. Now, these lashes, for whatever reason, I just whoop, click them off like it was nothing. It makes me feel like I'm a professional. But these are the pixie lashes you can find them right here but i will also 
linking it in the description box down below so that way if you want to go check them out these are the Chanel to prime my, fa my face I'm going to use the elf booty primer so you guys know this thing is the bomb it's so good it's super good I like it I love it it's good for my pores it just it feels good her comfort zone okay so for foundation we're going to be using the BH cosmetic um, liquid foundation naturally flawless and it's in the shade sand so let's wish me look oh it does come with a pump I'm gonna put some in the back of my hand which normally I don't do because I feel like I forget I got like three little pumps out I feel like sometimes I just forget and I tend to just Use that all over my face I guess I mean not all over my face but like forget that I have foundation in the back of my head and then I just you know spread the foundation all over my clothes it has a strong smell to it that I am NOT a fan of and I'm just gonna make sure I drag everything down to my neck it has some type of luminosity, I would say, because it has some shine to it. I don't like the whole um, super matte foundation. I don't have oily skin. I don't have dry skin. I have, I would say, I have normal skin. So let's see. I wanted to see how this foundation does. Now. I am not a fan of this smell, I can tell you that much. I do not like this smell. But it does have some type of coverage. Definitely not a full coverage. I would say maybe like a light to medium coverage. Oh. I'm not sure you can build it up. I am not trying to figure that out. I am not trying to be looking like I'm going to a ball. Not at all. Now let's proceed with the concealer. For the concealer, I'm going to be using the HB Studio Pro Total Coverage Concealer and this I am using the shade 117 and it comes like this with the same sponge I'm just going to blend everything anything on place I like to make sure everything is just right where it's supposed to be now to set, set everything I'm going to use my collab powder in the shade sand beige this has become one of my favorite powders and today I'm going to actually use the little sponge that came with or however you want to call it I'm just going to press the powder in because it's already have I'm just gonna go ahead with whatever is left. I'm just gonna set the rest of my face. Normally, I'll do it with my sponge, but today I wanted to try this. It's our, it already had powder in it, so I said, why not? So pretty much whatever powder was in here, it was that I used to set my face, so yeah. Now I'm going to use my brush to make sure I take whatever excess powder I have on my face and just get rid of it. Now for bronzer, I'm going to be using this BH Cosmetic Brilliance Bronzer and it looks like this. Hopefully this works. I like it. it has a mirror in it and I'm going to be using my brush that I always use for bronzer okay okay you guys saw that this bronzer is I 
peaches. I like it. It's very creamy. It's just not a lot of bronzers work for me because, you know, my skin is not fair or light or medium. So I feel like the unbronzers just don't work for me. They just don't work. I don't know. This one right here? Yeah. This one is going to stay in the starch. Um, now let's clean up a little bit. I'm going to use the same little collage sponge and whatever powder is in it. Yeah, there you go. There we have it. Oh, oh, snap. 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 And I'm just going to go around my nose, the tip of my nose. Just a little tiny bit. I'm gonna take my brush back and I'm going to take this powder off. For blush, we're gonna go with the Super Shock Chic Blush. This is the shade Count On Me. I absolutely love this stuff. And we're gonna put this in the apple of the cheeks. Oh snap. Okay, 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 okay. Now for um, highlighter, we're gonna use this pure um, bronze and brighten palette. This I actually got in a box of charm. We're gonna take this shade right here. I don't like the bronze that are here because it's had shimmer to it. I don't like my bronzers to my bronzer to be shimmery. I just I don't know, just me. And I'm going to take this Morphe M E48, and I'm just gonna dip in there and a little bit on my nose. to do take a small brush I'm actually gonna use this um, BH cosmetic number six and I'm going to take some of the highlighter and I'm going to apply it to my brow bone and then I'm going to take a smaller brush which is gonna be this elf brush this is a small precision brush, and I'm going to add some of that to the inner corner of my eyes. And now before we forget, because we, I was about to forget, um, I'm going to go back to my Morphe palette first. I have a mess over here. And the same colors that I applied to the top, I'm going to be applying to my bottle lashes. So let's start with the orange. Where's my orange? Where's my orange brush? Here we go. We're going to start with the orange. Then we're going to proceed with the yellow. And then I'm going to add the green right at the end. Now I'm going to go back to my BH Cosmetic pa uh, palette and I will do the same. So I'm going to go to the orange shade first. Then I'm going to go to the yellow shade. And then I'm going to go to the green shade. I'm just gonna take this, um, it's the BH Cosmetic number five and I'm just gonna sure everything is nice and smooth and I'm gonna take this M Morphe 222 and I'm just gonna do the same to the other side and there you have it now to do my bottom lashes I'm going to be using the Tarte better than sex mascara very very carefully because I tend 
to make a mess. If you cannot see me, please forgive me. It just left. I had to kind of get like this because if not, I will make a mess. Okay, and there you have it. Now to set everything in place, I am going to use my Morphe setting spray. Which you know is one of my favorites. I absolutely love how this spray smells. Now let's pick what lipstick are we going to use. Something hard, very hard. <laughs> okay, so I'm thinking we should go with this Maybelline Super State Matte Ink in the shade Fighter, which is this like brown and brown color. I am in love with browns. I feel like I look great in brown. So I think that's most that I use. Let's take this uh, stuff over my hair. My hair is not looking the best today. It just does not want to cooperate for whatever reason. It just doesn't. So let me do something with my hair and I'll be back. Okay, so here I am. I kind of just pull for my hair. And this is the final look. What do you guys think? Do you guys like it? This has been the bottle of the palettes, which I am very impressed with both of the palettes. Now, I there are things that I like, there are things that I don't like, of course. Of course, some colors have pigments, other not so much, and that come from both ways. I think that even knowing that the Morphe palette doesn't have as much um, matte colors as I would like to I still made it work pretty good now if I tell you that this was the Morphe side and this was to take me the Brazil side we see a difference let me know what do you think let me show you one more time did you see a difference which one do you like the best let me know in the comments down below now don't forget that this palette is twenty dollars, it's still available. This palette is also twenty dollars. Unfortunately, it's sold out. But I think they work. Both of them work really good. Again, some colors have pigments, others not so much. But obviously, we made it work. Um, and this is it. This is it. This is it. This is it. Um, don't forget if you like the video, give the video a thumbs up. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel and you like what you see, hit the subscribe button. Um, let me know your thoughts down below. Let me know what you think about this makeup look. Totally out of my comfort zone. Something totally different. But let me know what you think. Um, and with that being said, it will be on to the next one.